she moved here. My wife moved here to New York City um, not long ago. She mo- she moved here kind of right before we got married, which was fun. I got to like watch New York through fresh eyes. You know, it was cool because if you you know if you're exper- if you've been here long enough, you don't care. <laughs> you don't care about any of the crazy shit. But having her there, it's like oh, it's like a baby. You know, <laughs> seeing everything. Like the, it w- we were like two weeks in, you know, to her being here. And we were on the train one night, and there was this dude on one of the cars, the car we were on, walking down the car, pointing at everybody and saying, suck my dick. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit, a little bit funny. I, I, <laughs> he was hitting everybody. He was like, suck my dick, suck my dick, <laughs> suck my dick, suck my dick, maintain balance, suck my dick, you know? <laughs> and then he got to my wife, and he was like, suck my dick. And she was like, no! I was, I was like, I was like, babe, you don't have to, you know, it's not. This is New York, he's giving you the option. You can do anything here. You can go to Broadway, you can see Wicked, you can suck this dude's dick, anything. Come on now. Southern Belle, she did, whatever. Oh, no, that's, not, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true. We were, uh, you know, we were pretty young when we got married. I was 27. That's young for New York. Um, Rest of the world, that's like pretty (laughs) average or too old. (laughs) This is actually my second marriage. I got married once before when I was 17. So I know. I I get married every 10 years. I don't don't know why, but I'm like a cicada. You know, I come out (laughs) once a decade. I find a mate. I sing a song. Pretty good cicada. I'm I'm glad you laughed. I would practice that while I was walking my dog. (laughs) So people in the neighborhood just see me like, like everyone. Everyone's looking at me like he is so inspiring. You know what I mean? Like wow, he's high functioning. Oh my god. Yeah. My wife, she wants to talk about my ex-wife a lot. She likes to talk about exes. Um, it's a kind of a thing I think ladies like to do. Talk about exes. She does it because, you know, I know why. It's because she wants to feel jealous. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? She, she, she's had a boring day and she's like, I just want to be, <laughs> you know? So she brings it up, but she kind of like hides it in this little gift wrapping of like, no, it's because you learn from your exes. <laughs> You learn lessons, and you need, we need to explore our marriage. Like, what is, the, what did you learn? And I'm like, no, we're just, you want to fight me? No, it's a lesson. She's not wrong, though. You, you do learn from your exes, you know? And, ex- you know, excuse me, I'm going to be very heteronormative for this joke. Oh. just want to, somebody, somebody sighed, oh. No. But it's true. I feel like men and women learn very different lessons from our relationships, you know, from our exes. I feel like. You know, women learn very deep lessons. They take a lot away. They change their trajectory for, you know, they they base their next relationship off of the exes, the accumulated knowledge that they've gathered, right? And me, like, I don't know, guys, I feel like we, like I think about what I've learned from my exes, it's like, fuck, you know? (laughs) Like how to floss? I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, (laughs) I learned from my exes that after a shower, the shower curtain shouldn't be bunched up, it should be, you know, because it'll get moldy. You know what I mean? You know the bathroom mirror? No toothpaste on that, bad boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know the toilet? Like, sometimes there'll be like a brown ring in it. That's not rust. That's shit. You can clean that. <laughs> Whoa, wow, that was the most divisive thing I've said. All right. <laughs> you guys are like, why is this dude talking about the rust ring? The permanent rust ring in the toilet bowl. <laughs> It's funny, and then you listen to like a girl talk about her ex-boyfriends and l- talk about what they've learned, and it's always these deep stories about p- trauma and how oh, I learned from Brad that I have unprocessed, you know, issues with the way my dad treated me and my sister. He preferred my sister over me, and now I know when I'm looking for a guy. Like, I just want a guy who doesn't find my sister hot because that <laughs> reaffirms me and my dad's relationship. 
And then you look at like Brad or whatever, and he looks like Jared Fogle. Like, why is every ex-boyfriend the dumbest looking motherfucker? I have this theory, every ex-boyfriend looks like shit, okay? <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a jealous motherfucker over here, yeah. And I'm humble, I get it, that's me. I know there are dudes out there right now dating my ex-girlfriends, looking at pictures of me on Instagram, like, really, this guy? Fareed Mercury, this is the dude who, this is the guy? Really? You kidding? 